Hey, welcome back to the book of Malachi. We're at Malachi chapter 1, and this morning we're going to look at verse 6. We're studying this very important Old Testament book, in fact, the last, and then there's going to be four centuries of prophetic silence before the New Testament times and Jesus comes. So, very interesting stuff, but let's go straight to it here. Verse 6, a son honors his father and a servant his master. If then I am the father, where is my honor? And if I am master, where is my reverence, says the Lord of hosts, to you priests who despise my name? Yet you say, in what way have we despised your name? And he's going to go on, and we'll talk about that the next day. But remember, we, we noticed this going to be a series of questions, and the pattern is statement and then questioning of the statement. And so here's the, again, the first one. A son honors his father and a servant his master. If then I am the father, where is my honor? And if a master, then where's my reverence? So in our text today, God has some questions for the priests. He says, where is my honor? Are you going to honor me because, you know, I am God and you are my priests? And so if I'm, if I'm the father, where's my honor? If I'm the master, where's my reverence? And notice what he says to the priests. To you priests who despise my name. And yet you say, in what way have we despised your name? So there it is. There's the statement. God makes a statement. You've despised my name. And then the response is, uh, we, we don't remember doing that. We are innocent. We haven't despised your name. And so that's how it's going, and that's how it's going to go. It's going to be statement, and then it's going to turn more and more as we go through the book to denial. At the beginning here, it's kind of like, okay, well, tell us, what did we do wrong? But it's going to become even more and more frictional, more denial. So isn't it true, if God is our father, if God is the father of the priests, if God is your father and mine, like uh, we are servants and he's the master, who should we be honoring? We should be honoring the God of heaven and earth. We should be honoring him. If he is the master, where is our reverence? You know, we're not in a very reverent age, but that doesn't mean we are trapped in an irreverence. We certainly, God is calling us to march to Zion. He's calling us to rise above our irreverence. And so he can do that, and he can do that for you and for me. Where's my honor? Why don't we start by saying, God, I bow to you, I give you my honor. Why don't we start by saying, I'm a servant, you're the master. Uh, you are God, and I am a created person. I give you all my honor. Why don't we do that? And when we think about priests, by the way, always keep in mind there's a priesthood of believers, and there's a sense in which you and I are all priests for the kingdom. So whenever he addressed the priests here, He's also addressing us. We should think of it in that way. You priests who despise my name, may we not be those kind of priests. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we're coming into some problems that are happening in the day of Malachi. Help our hearts to be uh, submitted to you. Help our hearts to be given to you. Help us certainly to give respect and reverence to you who are the creator of all. And, and what are we, Lord? Dust. Dust that's here today, gone tomorrow in the oven. Lord, help us to not forget that or get high and mighty. So many people in our age have become high and mighty, but it's all wrong. Turn our hearts toward Jesus. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, in what way have we despised your name? There's a question for the priests in Malachi's day. It's a question for us today. In what way have I personally, in what way have you? God forbid despised God's name. We're going to find out what God has to say next tomorrow morning, but still a question for us in terms of personal application. Maybe there's some things we've done where we have, God forbid, despised his name. And worse than that, maybe even despise his name before unbelievers. Let's get that in order. Hey, God be with you today and bless you in all that you do today as we are his servants and his messengers in this place.